The fallout continues after the emergency shutdown of Baltimore's Metrolink train system. A new report suggests the MTA knew about track problems months before taking the drastic action. WJC is live at one stop on West Cold Spring Lane. Rick Ritter with the new developments. Rick. Well, Vic, according to that inspection report, MTA knew about these problems all the way back in 2016. A report that suggested the tracks were so bad, adding that train movement shouldn't be allowed. It's a system-wide shutdown that's been a nightmare for riders. Well, people are losing their jobs behind not being able to be to work on time. Wear and tear on the tracks for the above-ground system that forced Metro to shut down all 14 of its stations. While officials declared an emergency, an MTA inspection report says officials knew about the subway's rail problems more than a year before, but the trains continued to run. I feel like whoever, whoever's making the decisions is not a person who rides the bus. Despite the safety standards violations, Metro says they decided to run the trains because they felt the tracks were still safe to operate on. We do inspections of our track two to three times a week. The last inspection on a, a couple of these elevated sections were just a few weeks prior. The recent shutdown has caused outrage among riders like Lex and Tally Payne. Thousands just like them are now forced to pile on shuttle buses. I really feel like that they don't care about the individuals in the city. A temporary fix that's been far from smooth. With the replacement of the shuttles for the, for the train, none of them are on time. While the MTA tries to fix a system that seems like it's always fighting an uphill battle. They've known about the problems and they, they, we know about them because we're just riding the train, but we didn't know how serious the problems were. Vic, it's important to note track repairs were originally scheduled for this summer, and we did try reaching out to MTA for further comment on this story, but did not hear back in time for this newscast. Back to you. Rick, thank you. Metro expects the repairs to continue through March the 11th.